Monster, episodes 26 through 50. Well, guys, we bitched and moaned last week. Where's Johan? Where's Johan? We haven't seen Johan but once in this series. And he, they said, shut up, bitch. And then they gave us a lot of Johan. Yep. yep. And this part was much more enjoyable because of it. I'd it, agree. It's yeah. nice to see the big bad that we're like supposed to be rooting against. No, I, I, a hundred percent. It was nice to see, like, I don't know, because one of my complaints in the first few episodes, or I guess first twenty-five, was like I didn't believe that he was a bad guy enough. Like, I didn't know enough about his character to really like see that image in my mind of oh, Johan's like this guy. Like, it's just all this stuff's happening. He's making it happen, but I don't really, I'm not invested in his character. But this really like made him a better bad guy, if you will. <laughs> Absolutely, because there's some moments here where we figure out that Johan's a different kind of shark. <laughs> but yeah. thankfully we've been cutting these up in a pretty good way on accident, I guess. We just decided to do it in thirds. But yeah. there was basically two big arcs in this section we watched, right? It was the yes. uh, Bayern, right? Bayern was where they were at? With the library and uh, stuff with the blind man? I don't remember. Wasn't that Prague? Honest. No, that wasn't. No, no, no. So that's in, I think it's Bayern. Uh, yeah, because I wrote that. Or it's Munich. Munich. Yeah, I think it is Munich. Yeah, Munich. Uh, and Bayern then, the king. yeah. So then we got Munich section, and then we got the Prague section, which right. thankfully we covered all of that in both in this time in this uh chunk we watched, which the two best arcs of the show so far. Period. I think I leaned more yeah. towards the Munich arc, and it's my favorite. But Prague was very, very good in my opinion. What do you guys think? Prague or Munich? Would you like better? It's it's hard, dude, because I think I like Prague just because I wasn't really with the plot line of, I forgot the kid's name, but the kid in his Frank. blind. Carl. Yeah, Frank. Uh, Carl, yeah. I wasn't really with the whole Carl plot line. I didn't really give a fuck. So really? That was, yeah. He was just kind of lame. Like, I feel like he was just kind of there. But, I mean, his dad was cool, I guess. And I liked Roberto getting the clap, but... I don't know. I like I like that plot line, but I definitely like the uh, the Prague one a little bit better because I thought the cop was cool, um, Suk, and I, I really I, I don't know. I thought the characters were better in the second half. So we do get introduced to a new character that, God damn it, I want him to be a good guy. <laughs> I hope he doesn't turn yep. out fucking evil later. But before we get to that, we got to talk about the Munich section. So we bitched about Johan. We told you last week the cliffhanger was Johan is in Munich. Well, he's here and he's pretending to be a student. He's using Johan Lieber as his name, which is like, I guess he just wants to piss off the police <laughs> at this point. Dude, yeah. He wants them to know he exists. And we start to see that Johan is probably the most charismatic supervillain ever. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. Okay, here's the thing. <clears throat> Johan is portrayed as this charismatic guy and like everyone just somehow seems to love him and I don't know if they're doing this on purpose but I don't get it. What do you mean? I I don't like he he talks and like cuz he talks and everyone just like basically falls in love with him. Yeah. I don't get it. This man is not interesting to me at all. He's not he's not interesting. That's the thing. He he's himself just a soft is not a little boy. No, no, no. no. He's not the interesting one, Tristan. That's that's how that's how charisma works, right? He's not like The Rock. He's not gonna go out there and be like, you know, Rudy Pooh, candy ass, monkey ass, you're the hamburger type shit. You know what I mean? His charisma charisma is comes from him digesting what you tell him and reacting to it in the exact way you want it to be reacted at, right? So when he's talking to Carl on the bridge, him expressing to Carl that he understands his pain and doing those fucking crocodile tears suckered him in and he was like dude johan's so cool he's so fucking smart he has this aura about him and that's the aura the aura is not that johan is this cool person it's that johan is this empathetic person but he's not like that's the thing fair because like i mean i don't know if you took that away eli or what you thought if you agree with tristan or not but that's how i assumed Uh... it worked I'm kind of half and half. Like I, I totally see what Tristan's saying. Like I personally don't really understand why he's so charismatic, but at the same time, like I can see how he 
like he's a good listener i guess in that and he reacts like you said the exact way that they want him to react so in that sense it makes sense but i feel like there's some points in the show where like he even just starts talking it's not even that he knows anything about anybody's backstory it's just he starts talking in the middle of of somebody's sentence and instantly they just drop dead like oh he's so charismatic he's so caring blah 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 it's like you don't even know this person yet like you haven't really known anything about him so i don't know i mean they have characterized him as the devil so the yeah. devil worked you know the same the devil works in mysterious ways so does johan yeah it's just weird that like these girls i guess in the show um they just like fall for him in two seconds and it's weird with his little baby voice that they're like okay and or okay with falling for him i guess i mean to be fair well, they very much express that the Libra twins are very pretty and attractive that's that's yes. facts yeah and like i i get it with with nina anna but like with johan i feel like it's much more conventional you know like objectively just because he looks very similar to to anna and since she's pretty that kind of makes him pretty well yes they are twins that's how that works right. that's, that's right. how I'm saying it's like i feel like it's definitely just kind of an objective <laughs> thing, you know oh yes, yeah that's I get how it. that works <laughs> because because <laughs> johan is like the stereotypical like german dude right blonde hair blue eyes slender fit smart like that's like that combination you look at fucking carl look at carl frank carl yeah. what's his name <laughs> carl. carl look at carl he looks like a fucking dweeb with his fucking big ass nose <laughs> his fucking dirty ass black hair Whoa. and then johan oh, comes man. in with the turtleneck and the suave and they go oh shit it is johan <laughs> but man no i did very much enjoy johan being around and the fuck shit he was getting up to because you knew he was gonna do some fuck shit Shakes really are thirsting for his turtleneck, and it's just, it's wild to me. Just like dudes are thirsting for Anna. Literally every dude in the whole show. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, <laughs> Johan is convincing this dude, Carl, to rig, you know, to tell his dad that he's his son and all this stuff. And we don't really know why he's doing it for a while. And then towards the end, we find out why. And then uh, this dude, Robert, was investigating him, and then he fucking made Robert just throw himself off a roof because <laughs> Robert was an alcoholic. And, oh, my God. Former. Recovering. Yeah, man, that dude, he got a recovering alcoholic, and then he just threw him off the fucking roof. Dude, dude. R.I.P. That, uh, I, I liked him. I actually him, liked too. him. Yeah. Yep, me too. He was, he was pretty chill for the most part. I mean, I mean like, he was I, smart. I, oh, yeah. I thought it was kind of cool how they were kind of showing us that recovery thing with him as well. Yeah. I thought that was cool. Dang, that happened really fast, actually. Yeah, his psychologist was cool, too. Uh, I forgot oh, his doctor? name. But yeah. Well, I don't yeah, remember he... the doctor's name, either. I just always have him as the doc. Yeah, me too. Yeah, they were both really cool. They were smart at, like, finding clues and, like, actually trying to solve the Johan thing and not being a fucking Lunge, so... Fucking Luke, dude. I swear to God. <laughs> He's my least favorite character so far. Same. You know who I'm Man. glad we didn't see at all in this oh, section? Ava. Yep, I talked to Eli about this. Ava, Ava was missing. Uh, yeah. She did not show up at all, and I said, thank goodness. Of oh, my God. Of course, gosh. dude. Dude, glad. okay. Go ahead. I'll just say glad she was around. Oh, yeah, I seen him. Tenma wasn't in the first, like, three or four episodes of this part. No, 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 no. The first five. He wasn't there. I have it written down. Yeah, he came back in episode thirty. And okay, I know we said pumped. I know we've said things about Tenma, right? Like we don't like him. I was fucking hype when Tenma showed up at the end of thirty. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. When they flashed him at the graveyard of Robert's grave, and you say flash Tenma, I was like, oh shit, it's on! And then the dude started yeah. getting jumped, and someone started shooting back, and you see it's Tenma. I lost my shit. I was hyped to see that him. Was yeah, Tenma, I don't know. He he got a little bit on my better side this uh few up these few episodes, but still, I mean, he's still pretty eh. He's getting colder though, which is dope. Like he's getting ice cold now. I, getting... Yeah. That is cool. 
You could see him just slowly be like, I fucking hate my life. I'm gonna fucking kill you on. <laughs> Speaking of that, um, the first kind of plot line we get with him is him figuring out a way to snipe Johan, which is pretty cool. Um, I like when he's in the forest, dude. He's just setting up, and the dude's like, yeah, I swore there'd never be bloodshed in this forest again. He's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was, and then, I, I like that angle, though, because he was like, he wasn't like, nah, like, fuck that. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, like, I'm gonna honor this. Like, it was, cool, uh... <laughs> It was funny. The uh, episode that he was in the library setting up his sniper and his outpost there. I, <laughs> I was reading the comment section. This dude, this dude was like, yeah, some dude just walks out of the bookshelf and goes, yeah, I vowed to never kill in this library again. <laughs> he has to get up and go, fuck. He says, yeah, dude, the was... books were started crying when I killed someone last time. <laughs> <laughs> the books just they couldn't, they weren't readable anymore, you know? <laughs> Tenma just goes honor, <laughs> dude. Man. But so Nina shows up too at Munich, which is like, oh mm-hmm. shit, everyone's here. Because I wrote down actually that like, because Tenma was either Tenma was posted up or he was about getting ready to post up at the library, and I was like, he ain't killing Johan yet. First off, there's like seventy seven episodes left. Second right, off, right. Nina's not here. He Johan will not die without Nina there, in my opinion, right? And then yeah. Nina was there, and I said, oh, fuck, <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> Which is great, because no, Nina meets don't. Carl's girlfriend, slash not girlfriend. She's so stupid. Don't even get me started about her. That whole party scene with her and Nina pissed me off. She was... Oh, with what's-her-face? Oh, yeah, Glasses Girl, Velma. Loda. Loda. Velma. Her name was. Velma, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Velma. <laughs> so... Like, Velma was like, I bet you never have to go through anything terrible because you're pretty. And Nina's like, I'm a fucking orphan. I, my brother was sent to a <laughs> German fucking, like, rehabilitation center that turned him into a maniac. And he's killing people. There's this Asian doctor running around trying to kill my brother before I could kill him. You want to talk about issues? <laughs> <laughs> Facts. I can't even walk in my own diner without dudes trying to fucking fuck on me <laughs> literally i can't i can't even hang out with the baby without cutting the rug bro I don't even get me started because they go to the party and what happens they're all trying to fuck on nina again except <laughs> for the Michael. one dude who was paid not to because <laughs> yeah carl is bro he Stupid. was shutting the he was slamming the door in her face cold-blooded that's absolutely just, just did the Giannis over Tim Hardaway dunk on her. Yes, I think at this point, too, my man Dieter, right? He meets the other little kid that was in the hospital because Yon shoved him off a oh, roof or something. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That was they were playing that game. a little bit earlier. And yeah. boy, did I think that was going to be Johan Jr. Yep. Me too. I thought it was yep. going to be Johan oh, 2.0. Oh, boy. They sure set it up like it was about to be. And uh, they're also setting something else up that's going to scare me, and I hope Dieter doesn't end up turning evil. <laughs> I'll cry. I think it'll be okay. I, think I, I hope okay, so, man. but there's something in the prog section that they mentioned, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. And so then dude, almost, little dude almost falls off, and Dieter saves him because he's learning from Tenma so well. <laughs> And I want this is when Johan does some more fuck shit, right? So Johan slowly weaseled his way into being cool with Shuval, personal assistant, loves him, you know, treats him like his second kid past Carl. And then Johan goes to the red light district, right? Passing all these hoes and hookers, right? And he goes up to the big hoe and hooker that was pretending to be Carl's mom. (laughs) And he, I forgot what he told her. He's just like, you bitch, shut your mouth. And then, she said, I got my big dude in the back ready to kill you. You know what I mean? Don't fuck oh, yeah. oh, And Johan said, you know, that's cool, man. I got to go. Fuck you. <laughs> and she goes, hey, big man, come get him. The big man comes over and says, oh, I'm the big man. And she gra- he grabs her. He says, your turn. And she goes, yeah. what? <laughs> Clap. And it's Roberto. Dude, I hate Roberto, bro. I hate him. He's oh, you say so much. You dude. say Loon is your worst favorite character, least favorite character. That dude is my least the favorite big character. Dude. Is man. that big dude's name Roberto? Yeah, Roberto because he was in shot. the last section too. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah shout out to Tenma being a legend. 
well, hopefully. We don't know that he's actually dead because there was a couple episodes later. I my prediction is he's not dead because later Ten was like, I think I shot or I shot somebody. I think I killed him, but I don't know. I didn't check. Oh, and, uh, there. Go ahead, Eli. Sorry, I think I'm him on the saying page. that. Him oh. saying that just th- makes me think that he's gonna come back, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> No, I thought I saw something like a couple episodes after that too. Like I thought I saw like a cat, like something pop up, and it wasn't like it was like they were showing something, but it wasn't a character's face. And I was like, "Is this Roberto back from the dead?" I don't think it ended up being, um, but I feel confident that he's dead. I think he's dead, but I hope he's dead. Really, he might. I do back. too. And I really hope he's dead. So Johan walks out after my, his big man gets ready to clap this chick. He walks by the prostitute with the balloons and he says, "May I have a balloon?" <laughs> and I'm like, "This dude is <laughs> fucking nuts!" <laughs> like that's facts. And he takes the balloon. He walks by the the crackhead that was the prostitute that's a crackhead. And she goes, "Here, get your next fix." <laughs> and he gives her money. I'm like, dude, <laughs> Johan is awesome. I think he's a different kind of shark. Very rarely do I ever say like they could make something live action and I would watch it again. If they made this live action, I would very much love to see who they would cast as Johan because hmm. that would be fucking dope. Just the charisma factor and the craziness of Johan. I want to see someone try to do that in real life. Dude, let's be honest. They'd get fucking Michael Sarah to do it. <laughs> Dude, oh. don't talk to me. Stop it. <laughs> You know they would. You know who I actually would like to see do it though for shoot, uh, James Franco. I think he could do it. Dave or James? Because James? I think Dave could do it. Dave would no. do better than James. Yeah. Which ones? Which one's the older one? D- James. Dave. D- James. James. James yeah, is the older Dave's one. The one that wears James? the sash. Yeah, Dave, Dave is, is the cute the big... boy. Like, yeah. I think, I think either of them could do it, but I think James is a better actor. I think James is a better actor. I just think Dave fits this role better. I like James a lot more, but I think Dave is. But more I think James would kill it better. Okay, I actually like Dave more, but I think his baby face would play this role better. That's what I'm saying too, because James Franco's like kind of like scrungy, like kind of looks. No offense to him, kind of looks like a druggie, like, and Johan doesn't really like fit that. That's true. He's like super clean, super like. Pure. But I was just going off like acting ability, and I think if Dave clean or if James cleans up, he could do, he could look good, like he did in Spider Man trilogy. Oh well, yes, of course. But you know, neither here nor there. Hey Netflix, let us make the monster live action adaptation. We won't make it like Death Act. Note, you motherfuckers. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Which was great, and he gives, and you see, like you see this weird, like I don't know if Yon has feels like he has to do something good after he does something bad, but. I'm genuinely curious why he took the balloon and gave her the money. You know what I mean? It's a good question. Like, is it like he has to balance out shit? Which that doesn't make sense because he does some fuck shit that just he does oh, not yeah. balance out. No, I was gonna say he's not balanced at all, dude. And Lunge shows up, and I go, ah, oh, fuck, it's Lunge. <laughs> and <laughs> he talks to fucking my man's that Tenma talks to. Uh, from last part, right? Tenma talked to the criminal guy, right? His friend from yeah. school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talks to him. Lunge goes. He tells him, and Lunge goes, <laughs> "I'm gonna catch Tenma, motherfucker." <laughs> he like, he's yeah. like, "Yes, it's this kid Johan that's doing everything. We know where he is. We can help you find him." Oh, it's okay. I don't need help. Find. I'll find Johan. I'm gonna find fucking Tenma. <laughs> like, dude. Yeah, because Johan just exists in his head. <laughs> oh. Lunge was so dead set on catching Tenma that he couldn't look at the things right in front of his face. Stupid fuck up. Dude, I feel <laughs> like they're like, hey, here's this objective person. Here's this actual person whose name is Johan, who we all know is this guy, but we can't seem to catch him. And he's like, you mean the guy Tenma created? Gotcha. Yeah, it's literally just the Man Ray meme. Like, is this your wallet? <laughs> is this <laughs> your suspect? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so so Johan's a suspect. Killer. Yeah, Tenma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. What the fuck? I feel, I feel like Lungay has like Jaws music every time he comes in, like, but instead of like the Jaws sound, you just get just get the finger taps. I was trying to do the finger taps and it wasn't working, but yeah, <laughs> just that over and over. Doesn't really work with my mic, but yeah. 
Oh, man. Yeah, fuck Lin Gay, by the way. And so then he realizes that he realizes that Tenma's going to try to assassinate Shu Vault, when in reality, it's fucking Johan's trying to kill Shu Vault. So stupid, yeah. And Tenma's posted up with the sniper rifle. He Did he push out or did he get grabbed by Big Man? He got grabbed by Roberto. A little bit of both. Mm, he pushed out. Yeah. Because he had the oh, shot yeah, on He, he did, and then he got grabbed. Yeah. And then he said, watch me snipe Shuval. And then he said, he took a way too long to kick that dude in the dick. <laughs> I was like, Tim, yeah. he's about to shoot it, bro. <laughs> you better do something. And he didn't. He did. finally did get to the fight with them. They brawl up there a little bit. They go, ugh, ugh, fuck off, you sprawl and brawl. And then Tenma taps him once, and then he gets the flashback. Remember, shoot twice and increases your chance to kill the target. And Tenma hesitates and then shoots again, falls off the cliff. Or the yep. balcony. Assume he's dead. Might not be. If he burned alive. He might have gotten the Miguel treatment, dude. We don't speak don't speak about my fucking guy like that. Fuck Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's fuck Robbie till I D I E. <laughs> That's a fact. And so, Johan was trying to kill him. Shuvalt knew Johan was trying to kill him and that he was going to burn the library down. Told people to run away. And people were like, what is this old man talking about? Then they catch the fire. They go, oh my god. And then Tenma saves everyone. And then Lunge hears that Tenma saved everyone. He goes, how could Tenma do this? <laughs> Saving people. <laughs> yeah. I'll fucking get him. <laughs> I'm like, god damn it. God, dude, I know. Lunge is just a fucking retard. Idiot. And, and Nina was there, too. So Nina came down. She told yo. She told Tenma, "Don't do it, Tenma," so that she could just miss every fucking shot. <laughs> she yep. says, "Don't do it, Tenma," and proceeds to miss every single shot that that former assassin taught her how to shoot, and she misses every shot. Dude, it was like point, not point blank, but like those are easy pistol shots. Like I don't it's like know, like 30 meters at best. Right, Hit you're him. gonna hit something. You're gonna hit something. It might not be his face, but you're gonna hit his shoulder or something. This she, is why we aim center mass. And she dumped the whole clip, and she missed every fucking bullet. Yep. And Johan just walks away. <laughs> Goes, I'll catch Dude, you guys later. He literally, he was unfazed too. He's like, okay, she's shooting at me. She's a bitch. Like I don't give a fuck. I feel like through the fire and the flames is playing. He's just walking out. Yeah, literally. I feel like Johan knows that the only one that can kill him will be Tenma. Like, that's the only one Dieter? who can. Dieter? No. <laughs> I hear, did I hear Dieter? The dark horse to kill him, Dieter, just <laughs> chokes him out. Gina... I'm telling you, my dark my dark horse fucking restaurant owner, whatever, Rosso. Rosso's still my dark horse, bro. I got I got Dieter with the piano wire just cut, cut, <laughs> choking out and cut open fucking Johan's throat. <laughs> and so he slips out. T- everyone gets out safely. Tenma slips out. And Tenma dips straight up leaves he leaves Dieter, leaves nina with uh shuvi and carl and he's gone so Dieter's gone now not gone but he's chilling now and it's mm-hmm. like, and tenma you could see that tenma's like i have to fucking do this now well like you see the the switch flip where he was kind of scared he's i don't know if i can now he's like i have to i have to next time i get johan cornered and it sucks because you see Nina, and she's really sad. And now she's taking care of Dieter now, which is cool. So all my man's is yeah. okay. But in the second section, we do not get Nina really at all. We get a tiny monkey wrench with Nina in the second half. Yeah. And then we don't really see her. But we get I was the intro. Say, we get, oh, sorry, brother. We get kind. We get kind of Nina, but yeah. We get not Nina. <laughs> yeah. That's what I like we to call them. Anna. Yeah, we get on. We get, <laughs> we get introduced to the character that mm. is stole the hearts of everyone this season, this chunk. Yep. Yep. Grimmer. Grimmer yes. is such a good dude, man. Uh oh, I love Grimmer. What did you guys take on dude, Grimmer? I mean I he's like the best Grimmer. character in the show so far. If he sticks to being a good guy. <sighs> Man, I was I, he just oh, the whole first half of the prog section. He's he's just I'm just sus. I'm like I don't know about this guy. I don't know about this guy. And every turn of the way, he still be's a good guy. I'm like, damn, I like this dude. Yeah, dude, it's hard not to like him. But yeah, everybody's still a little bit suspect of him. I guess he is sus. 
because he knows everything about everyone, which was weird. I know, dude. He knew Tenma by name and stuff right on the train, which is fair. I mean, he's a wanted criminal, but like, I don't know. But then they explain it, and they say he's a former spy from East Berlin. So he was in East Berlin, he was a news guy, and he was a spy as well. So when the wall fell, he became, you know, a normal citizen, basically. And he's trying to expose right. what happened at Kinderheim. Which we finally get back to that plot line, which is dope. <clears throat> and we find out later on that Grimmer himself was in Kinderheim. Not the Kinderheim Dude. that Johan was at. He was there years before Johan. Right. And before everything turned. Yeah, absolutely. And he has a split personality disorder, basically. And his so he actually has what people thought Johan did. To where he only he turns into the what is it, Magnificent Steiner? Right? Yes. Uh, Steiner, yeah. I don't remember if it was the Magnificent or whatever it was. I think it is. It's something Steiner. And he turns into him, and then he fucking murders people, just batshit murders people. But yep. he only uses Dude. it for self-defense. So that's that's the trade-off. Yes. So he's a good guy. I mean, he. I'd like to see some of that, though. Like, I know it's kind of hard to show that right now. Because like you're still trying to, f- they they want you to try to figure out his character, but like I kind of want to see him go batshit. That'd uh, be so entertaining. I think we're gonna see it. Cause I think so too. So? Uh, yes, but we have to, dude. Because my prediction I is I don't know if we do. My prediction is Grimmer gets killed by Johan somehow. That would make sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's but for I something that gets brought up later that I want to save until we talk about Anna. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I could. Uh, I don't know. I think he gets killed. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be by Johan. I think it's going to weirdly be by fucking Tenma. By Tenny? Do you think he's yeah. going to turn and go crazy and Tenma has to do it? Yeah. I think when he goes crazy, like he starts just attacking. I feel like he's either going to go after um, Nina or he's going to go after Dieter or somebody like that. And Tenma's just going to have to Fuck, put him down. That makes sense. Since Johan and Nina look so similar. He'll like snap and try to attack her. Fuck, dude. I can see that. Somebody's happening. gonna kill him for I think one of those kind of reasons. I don't think it's gonna be a reason, like I don't know. So we get flashes of Nina, right? And <laughs> yeah. she she saves Grimer Grimmer at one point, right? When he's getting beat up by the Prague police. And you see her do it and she shoots a dude in the head and then dips and then he beats the shit out of the other two and murders them with his fist. And you go, hmm. At least I did. I go, hmm. Nina must have really upped her shit since, you know, the end of Munich. Or yeah. Whatever. She must be really 100%. deadly now. And then. I was thinking the same thing. She's at this bar. And then uh, this detective guy, Suk, asks her his her name. And she goes, I don't have a name. Uh, I'm looking for, you know, I don't even know my own name. So I don't have a name. And at that point, I was like, okay, what the fuck's going on? Because yeah. Nina has never said that once, and she doesn't okay. act like this. That made sense to me, though, because right before that, we had seen kind of her with the, the three frogs thing. And she was like, that's all I know is the three frogs in this bridge. And I was like, something weird happened with that, that she's just trying to figure things out. Now, I see what you're saying, but that's to what, that's me... What I I was like, Nina wouldn't even respond to that like that, in my opinion. Like, the way they've shown her reacting to negative things like that is just to shut down. Right? So I would expect her to shut down, not to do, like, disclose that kind of weird shit to this dude. And so I thought, they mentioned that they're trying to find their mother. So I thought that was their mother for a while, right? That was my guess. Because, like, oh, they look, she looks exactly like them. Maybe she was young mother or something like that, and that's why they, they got taken away or whatever. But we keep going. Suki keeps coming back and disclosing more information to her. And then a really big red flag happens, which is one of the one of Suki's hires up comes to go try to fuck on, on Nina at the bar, which, again, everyone in the show is yep. horny for Nina. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yep. You know, put put it in your pants, guys. German. I guess Germans are just aged up, bro. <laughs> dude, I don't know. It's wherever she goes, dude. Yeah, I forgot they're not even in there. They're within the Czech Republic. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. So it goes that, and then she gives them no play at all. 
but gives him a bag of candies, some whiskey bonbons. Dude, yeah. And then they go back, and you find out that these dudes are the prog secret police. They end up eating the bonbons. Snap, dead. I said, okay, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, I was like, dude, that was crazy. I was like, so so their mom wants to kill off these people so they can't capture her or something like that. Find out about her. Still my thoughts, right? I didn't think anything of it. Then, yes. I think either this happened. No, that was later. Okay. And so then Soup comes back one more time. He's upset about that. They know about him and Grimmer have been hanging out. They know they're going to unlock the research papers for, like, 511 Kinderheim. And... <laughs> they're walking and talking. He tells her he tells her about that and she goes, Do not tell anyone about that at all. Don't tell anyone, right? It's like, okay, what the fuck's going on? And then she says, Oh yeah, don't do that because I care about you and I don't want you to get hurt and you know people around you get hurt. And this little fucking simp, dude, he fucking goes, Oh my god, and he's drunk off his ass and he leans in dude. to try to kiss her and she gives him the fuck off me, stiff arm. <laughs> yeah. Dude, when she did that, I was like, I I don't know what's going on here. Like, I didn't think it was not Nina because I didn't I did not see what was coming next. But I was like, fuck, like that's so weird. And then he goes, you know, I thought you know people who talked to each other were supposed to know each other's names, shit like that. And she and he's like, oh, I guess it's fine. You don't tell me your name. And she goes, oh, my name's Anna. And I go, yeah, fuck. That was the trigger for me <laughs> to go. That might be fucking Johan, right? Yeah. Because I, yeah. Nina, not once in the show, when she's asked to give out her name, has given Anna at any sort. Right. No right. Anna, no Anna Lieber, no Nina Lieber. It's always been Nina Fortner. Every time. Mm-hmm. Right. What's your name? Nina Fortner. Because she wants to respect her parents who raised her, right? Yep. And so that's her name now. She doesn't even go by, she doesn't even like being called Anna or anything. So then we start, she's walking down the street and everyone's like, hey, Anna, what's up, Anna? Hey, Anna. You know, he's like, oh, hello, hello. You know, she like that. I'm like, Everyone knows her by Anna, dude. This is weird. Yeah. And then we get to the bathroom, takes off, tears taking off clothes, takes off a wig, and at that point, I think all of us said, holy shit, are you serious? (laughs) (laughs) It's fucking Johan. Johan had put makeup on, dressed up in a dress, and altered his voice. Not like, you know, with like a mechanically, but like actually just tried to alter his voice to sound like Nina to convince this that much to different give her information. A different kind of shark. And dude. that's the moment I knew Johan was one of my favorite villains. Dude, <laughs> a different kind of shark was trying to get some dick, let me tell you. God oh, damn. No, he was stopping <laughs> the cut it. <laughs> he's about to hand it out they're about to get in the bedroom he's about to be like I'm a different kind of shark and they go what the fuck yeah <laughs> dude and fuck dude that was such an amazing scene to me just seeing the that lengths that crazy. Johan will go to to fucking trick people was amazing it was definitely so good. tricked me oh definitely me too me. yeah I I'm also had proud another, of it I also had another theory <laughs> that there was a third sibling because oh, shit. they said the three little frogs, right? And they kept saying three little frogs, three little frogs, three little frogs. And I was like, okay, third sibling. So I thought that that could have been the third know. sibling as well. I mean, still could be. There still could be another one. But There still could oh, be another oh, one, oh, but that oh, wasn't. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh. Okay, because <clears throat> I'm going to skip ahead a little bit real fast. Because Well, okay, okay explain. Now that, now that you mentioned that. Build up to it, because I know where you're going to go. I wanted to build up to this real quick. So let me get there. All right. Okay. This is the thing I said. Let okay. me explain with Anna. So now we see actual Nina with Dieter, right? And she finds the three frogs, which is a My place man, Dieter. that she used to stay at when she was a child. And she's getting flashbacks as so she's going up the stairs, right? This is what you're talking about, right, Tristan? Yes, absolutely okay. it is. That's it. I knew where you're going. She's getting flashbacks. She's going up the stairs of like childhood memories and things like that. And Dieter's like, Are you okay, Nina? Are Nina? Are you okay? You okay? And she gets to the top and she's like, I remember one of us getting taken away and coming back and I saw myself. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm, that's right. And that's, to me, Tristan, is what you're saying. You think that's a third sibling. When you bring up a third sibling, that, yes, that is exactly my possible theory for that. So, I just think that Johan, for some fucking reason, was doing that as a kid. 
And that scene confused the shit out of me, right? Because it made me think, did Johan even get taken or did Nina get taken to Kinderheim, right? Yeah. Did you guys think that too or no? Were you guys going somewhere else with No, me? not at all, dude. No, I didn't <laughs> think that. What do you she make of that saw... scene? Well, she said, she's like, you know, I saw myself. I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. Like, she's just tripping. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like, I didn't really care enough to really make an uh, You're telling me, about Mr. It. Prediction. We're more time travel. You're telling me Mr. Prediction Eli himself did not have a prediction based off this? No, he was not. He was not making predictions that day. God damn it, Eli. But, so I thought that Nina... <sighs> fuck. I thought that either Nina got taken to Kinderheim and it was Nina there the whole time, or when Johan came back, he came back as Nina, did not forget about her. Yeah. Because when we hear the tape, he says, I don't want to forget about Anna. Right? He says that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So that's why he dresses like her, and that's why he's obsessed with her. Because, like, that's, like, his thing now. And I think he's slowly trying to kill, like, anyone that could threaten him and her. So he's trying to take her away at the end, I think. I, mean, I can see that. That would make a lot hard. of sense. It's going to be hard, though, because, like, besides her, like, the person he cares for next most is Tenma. So... Yes. Cares for or cares about? Cares about, I guess. I don't know. It's a it's kind of the same thing when I think he about does care kind of for but... Tenma because Tenma saved him when he didn't have to. And that's why he's right. obsessed it, with Tenma yeah. too. That's what I'm saying, because he even said like he's like a dad to him. So like he feels like he owes him probably. And like that's what I'm saying. Like that's his second that's the second most important person to him, I think, like as far as who's not gonna get killed. Fair. But. Exactly. So then Sue gets the shit beaten out of him by the proxy group police, gets taken away, and shit starts going downhill. Tenma's here again. He's with Grimmer. He saves Grimmer's dumbass when him and Sue are getting beat up. Sue's in the hospital now. Uh, they really want the tape that they got. Sue gives the tape to his fucking mom, which is like, dude, dude, you could have put it yeah. anywhere. Why would right. you give it to someone? <laughs> Dude, that's a great question. He, They're like, yeah, it's safe. And I was like, with his mom? Like, yeah. come on. It was so safe that Johan knew exactly where to go to get it. Yeah, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Because guess who was pillow talking the whole time? Suk. And guess what Yikes. Johan fucking knows because Suk told him everything. Oh, he really loves his mother. So if he were to give it to anyone, he'd probably give it to a senile mother because she wouldn't know what it is. Right? Yeah. And Johan goes there, talks to her, gets the tape from her, and fucking cures her dementia. Yeah. 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 What? Johan is the devil. Uh, dude, I don't even Actually, know. Though. I don't know how you go about doing that, but. It's I just. Do. <laughs> I do like when they're like, yeah, there's two men and a woman with you. Do you remember the woman? She's like, she, that ain't no woman. That's a man. <laughs> Yeah, she I'm knew. Like, yeah. yeah. That Sook like, didn't even damn. know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. Sook was six inches away from her face at at, at Anna Johan's face the whole time. Mm -hmm. And yeah. never once did it slip his mind that that doesn't look like a woman. But his mother, in fucking five minutes, figures out that that was a man. Yep. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. We can man. see how lonely Suk was for all his life. <laughs> well, oh, he just I aged up, bro. He's bricked up. Uh, I didn't. I didn't know that was a man. You know, I didn't either. But that's because it's animation. To be fair, I know. I was just playing. <laughs> I was like, bro, I was, I was staring Johan up and down. Come on, <laughs> young looking like a snack. <laughs> he, was, he was, he was doing the Count Olaf in disguise thing, bro. My man, Johan was bro. looking like a snack in the bar. <laughs> Dude, Johan was double caked up on a Thursday, bro. Oh, but no. <laughs> Dude, Johan was trying to win best wifey there for a little bit, let me tell you. Shit, does that make Johan eligible? Dude. <laughs> might have to be. Johan didn't do might... anything that makes him eligible as Nina. He might be eligible oh, as most drip, though, because he's only got that turtleneck on point. But fuck that. Right, right. Man, fuck nah. you. Uh, fuck turtlenecks, bro. Oh, fuck I'm you, sorry. Bitch. No, and all my people in the comments defending turtlenecks. Fuck you. I don't think anyone's gonna be in the comments defending turtlenecks. <laughs> <laughs> the people with turtlenecks are 
60 year old men just fucking chilling that's for true so then johan decides i'm not done yet grimmer has been winning over these fucking orphan kids you know for this time best friends with them they were trying to capture <laughs> anna johan because they wanted to help grimmer and boy Yo, did that, that was backfire it did but that was still dope yeah that grimmer with the little kids was awesome dude just seeing their connection the way Grimmer's trying to get his emotions because he's from Kinderheim and doesn't have any happiness or sadness and stuff. Facts. It was nice, man. Dude. Grimm is really heartwarming. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's like, and that made the torture scene even worse for me. But like, dude, fingernail stuff gets to me. I don't mm. know why. Dude, anytime they do torture with fingernails, I'm like, ah, uh, like, please don't stick anything under my fingernail. So like, Ozark was tough, huh? Yeah, it was. But, dude. That shit, like, gets to me, dude. I don't know why. Like, I'm like, do anything else. Like, I don't know. Yep. So, torture. Well, speaking of torture, there's some mental torture going on. Because Johan grabs one of the kids that was chasing him and goes, why the fuck are you following me? He goes, I'm not. <laughs> looking for my mom. Oh, you're looking for your mom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for my mom. Oh, I know where your mom is. <laughs> He's like, yeah? He's like, yeah, go over. Come with me. And they takes him to the street. goes, just go walk all the way down there. Go to that part of Germany. Your mom's over there for sure. And it's like, oh, fuck. What is he going to make him do? Because Tenma hears it. And he goes, Not to mention that was after he goes, uh, he goes, are you sure your mom even loves you? You sure you exist for a reason? Like, he literally says it. Because your mom probably ditched you because she hated you. I was like, whoa. Yeah, so if you go there and no one calls out to you, that means you're unwanted and no one wants you. It's like, holy shit. This dude's oh, a shit. There's, there's people calling out to him, but <laughs> oh my god, this whole okay. Uh... So you find out where Johan sends him to is the fucking red light district of yeah. Germany, right? Prague. Prague. He mentioned that it was yeah, a town was... in Germany. They I thought they were still in the Czech. Re- I thought they were still in the Czech Republic. They were, yeah, but they're they're pretty sure. sure Johan said something about Germany. But I'll take your word for it, Prague. Uh, so he sits up there. Tenma hears about this and he goes, we need to go now. He doesn't know yeah. where he's sending him, but he knows Johan's going to do something to that kid. And Grimm goes, why? He goes, Johan is not the type to just kill. He will make you feel your absolute lowest and let you do it to yourself. <laughs> like, he won't even yeah. kill you. Like, we saw him do with uh, Robert. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and boy, did this kid go on a fucking adventure. This kid goes down to the red light district. He's just walking around looking and going like, mom, mom, right? And this random fucking prostitute goes up and goes, oh my God, right? I finally found you and hugs him, right? And it's like, what the fuck? So I was like, oh my God, yeah. it's actually it's his mom. For a second, I thought that. I never believed that. I did, didn't. I didn't either. <laughs> I, I did just because I thought it would be some weird shit. Like just like, that's his mom. And then she goes, I'm going to sell him or something. And I'm like, so. Oh my God. Dude, don't act like it's any better than what happened here. Oh, dude, trust me. No, it can't get I'm worse not. than what happened. Because, so then she goes, <laughs> just kidding. I'm not your mom. Who the fuck would want you, little kid? Get the fuck out of here, little loser. And then the other whores are like, ah, ha, ha, ha. She's like, I thought that really was your kid for a second. She's like, I don't make bad decisions. And then she, that's, they're like, that's how you got the clap. And she said, what the fuck? <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> Yo, roasting. that was good. That was hilarious. Fucking just the whores roasting each other. Oh my god. Do we have to talk about this? We do. So Milos ends up in a dark fucking alley somehow. Mm, Don't know what he was doing down there or why he thought. I thought that would be his. This was going to be his mom. I was like, what the fuck? I I was scared about seven different things that was going to (laughs) happen. There was like the freaking scared me in this section. Goes down the alleyway. Prostitute just bent over a garbage can by this fucking business, dude. (laughs) And he's about to just no, go over there. Business, school man. teacher. School teacher. Sorry, school teacher. In a suit. About to go ape shit. And he sees Milos. And then she's like, are you sure we got to do it back here? We can just get a room. He goes, no. <laughs> he's like, I'm Dude. doing it in the trash can. <laughs> and then she goes, and she goes, oh my God, there's a kid here. You got to leave, kid. And Milos goes to leave. He goes, no. <laughs> and it's like, what? Dude, I know. He's like, you're going to stay here and watch. <laughs> And this dude. dude pulls off his fucking belt, pulls out his shit, sticks it in the whore, and starts fucking her in the on the trash cans with Milos watching. Dude, and that's before 
That's after he gives him a fucking speech about how, yeah, on my regular days, I'm a school teacher, but sometimes I gotta let loose, kid. Dude. That was Yeah. Dude, you know when sometimes you just hear some absurd shit that you just have to, like, take a pause and just, like, stare off into space and be like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, that 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 was these, this whole scene for me. I had to pause this shit and just look and be like, what the fuck? Like, this is not, not fucking okay. To me, that wasn't even the worst part yet, because I thought the next part was the worst part. He's done with the hooker, gets off, pulls the shit up, whatever. Goes up to Milos and hands him money. 500 proc dollars, whatever the fuck they are. Yeah, yeah. And I go, please, dear God, do not tell me this teacher just gave him money to go buy himself a whore. That's what I thought. Dude, I, I don't even know. And because I got super duper scared, right? When he walks by the whore, he's asking for money. And I go, please, God, do not do this right now. Yeah, dude. And thankfully, she just steals the money and runs, which is much better than what could have happened. Oh, oh I know. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That whole... I don't even want to think about that. That whole red light district scene, that's what makes Johan such a fucked up villain. He doesn't want to just kill you. He doesn't want to just shoot you in the face. He wants to fucking break you. Not even because you're you're against him. Just because you exist, he wants to break your existence just for a living. Right. He did this to literally like an eight-year-old fucking kid and broke him. Dude. Yeah. It's it's sad. But at the same time, like, yeah, he knows how to break people. Like, he just, like, it's because he's, like, a good listener and understand understands what he needs to do to get under people's skin and, like, make them turn, basically. Expert manipulator. Right. That's a good way to put it. Yes. And he gets this kid fucked up so bad that he's about to jump off a bridge into water and kill himself. The yeah. killer kid is going to kill himself. And it's like, dude, this is like, I hate Johan. Johan needs to get fucked up and clapped. But thank goodness, Jesus Christ himself, Grimmer. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Grimmer is there. And Grimmer and Tenma run over to him. Grimmer slowly comes up to him. He's like, it's okay, man. It's okay. Lifts him up. Grimmer actually gets genuinely sad. Like, he's hugging him. And at first, he's asking, like, Tenma, am I doing yeah. it right? Am I doing it right, Tenma? Right? And then after a while, Grimmer just breaks down and starts fucking crying. And he's hugging him. Like, I hope, uh, you know, it's okay. They, there's You do exist for a reason. People do care about you. Just hugging him. And you see the kid go from fucking just, like, glazed over eyes to then he grabs Grimmer and he hugs him back. And it's like, ah. That was such a beautiful scene, dude. It was. Yeah, dude. You cannot... Uh, please do not tell me this man turns bad, man. There's no way. I hope not, too. I'd rather him die a hero than see him become a villain, dude. Same. Yep. I fucking love Grimmer too much, man. Because he helps Grimmer's the kid. Dope. He helps Milos. Milos turns into a fucking normal kid again. Sends him back to the orphanage, and he starts living with all his orphanage friends and hanging out and playing soccer again. And you're okay, like, right. I, did, I did get worried... For a minute. When he got hit with the soccer ball? The soccer scene, yeah, and he he Damn. just looked like so lifeless. He got hit with the soccer ball, and I was like, he's about to just like kill these kids. And then he snapped out of it, thankfully. Yeah, and he was all happy, and I was like, oh, thank goodness. Foreshadowing? Question mark? No. Possibly. That's I all think scary. so. I definitely think so. No. And so we find out about this dude, Bonaparte, right? Oh, yeah. Bonaparte, forgot about that. Who's a who's an author who was a neurosurgeon and probably worked at Kinder High. So as soon as I heard he was a neurosurgeon, I was like, "Fuck, this dude could literally get into their brains and fuck with their brains, right?" Yep. And we also find out mm-hmm. that Johan earlier I forgot I skipped over. Johan has the ability to reactivate all of the Kinder High kids and control them. That's just crazy. Which I'd... is what scares Dude. me for Grimmer. Yeah, that oh that makes sense. See that further like shows or at least like I don't know it further. I don't know, I don't know how to word it. It shows my claim, I guess that validates I think that it's it, yeah it, it further validates. That's a good way to put it. It's a, it further validates my point of um, somebody good is going to end up killing Grimmer and not Johan. 
So yeah, Grimmer turns on Tenma and Tenma's got to put him down in this last section. Is that what you think? Or someone like that? I hope not. I don't know, man. I just think if it's going to happen, that's the way it's going to happen. Fuck, dude. I I love Grimmer. Grimmer's going to definitely be a high ranker in this year's best character list. Oh, I agree. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Agree. And uh, it was awesome. You see Grimmer and Tenma talking after, you know, he finds out about Bon After Lunge shows up and talks about, you know, Bonaparte. And then I it's... still don't care about Lunge. Oh, no, me neither. <laughs> Fuck Lunge. Just a new one? Yeah. And then you see Tenma and Grimmer talking, and Grimmer goes, yeah, I'm going to write a note saying that I did everything. And Tenma goes, what? No, don't do that. He says, no, it's okay. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to run away so that they won't try to get you. And he's like, you don't have to do that, Grimmer. And Grimmer's like, no, I want to. Like, I want to make sure you're okay. And it's like, oh, dude. Grimmer, I love you. I know, I know, dude. Oh, Grimmer's so awesome, dude. Okay, real fast side note, just because we talked about it earlier. You know who I could see playing Lunge in the live action of this? Who? I don't know. Uh, hey, hold on. It's not that bad. Um, I don't remember his name. He's in one of the... Uh, Bruh. I think he might have been in Solo or... Um, yeah, Charles Gambino. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, totally. Uh, <laughs> no, he's the... Uh, he's slightly older. He's like middle-aged, I guess. Um, I think he was like... Oh jeez, he might have been. In I ain't gonna Rogue pause the conversation one. and ask and yeah. say, "You guys know who should play Luca? You don't even know his name, dude. You don't no, even know I, what he looks like. You I, said maybe no, slightly I, I middle know, aged, I maybe know, older. I know what he looks like. He's got longer hair. He so Woody Harrelson, bad guys. No, not Woody Harrelson. Jeff Bridges, not Jeff Bridges either. The dude Fuck from Tron. Dude, I don't know. He's in one of. The, all I know is he's in one of the Star Wars movies. Dude, that's like fucking Darth Vader. Let's see, eleven of them. Yes, I know that. I'm trying to Mark figure it out. I think his first name is Diego, <laughs> but I'm probably very wrong. From Dora? Oh, Boots? yes, dude. Diego from Dora. Boots? Oh, Mods Mickelson. My bad. That's his name. Dude, how do you Oh, miss... my God. How do you fuck Mods... <laughs> What? Dude, what? you don't remember Mods Mickelson? That's the goal. No. I know. Yeah. I, I couldn't remember his name for the life of me. I can see him playing Moonge. Mods would be a good Loon game, to be honest. Mods, mods will kill everything he does, to be honest. Exactly. God damn, dude, you're fucking... <laughs> All right. I, I know. All right, putting that to the side. Oh, Bam, dude. non-factor. <laughs> it, well, okay, uh, also, uh, before we put it to the side, there's no wonder you don't remember what fucking Star Wars, because it was a fucking Rogue One, wasn't it? Yeah, I said Rogue One. Oh, I thought you said Solo. I said it could have been, and I was like, oh, wait, no, I think it was Rogue oh. One. Because I, I, I remembered him being in there with Forrest Whitaker. Hey, Forty Ooh, Steve. Forrest. One hour. Open really... like Forrest yeah. Whitaker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so that happens. Grimmer ends up sending the note and then he leaves and we say, bye, Grimmer. We're going to have a picnic with you when we see you come back. Please let us have that picnic. <laughs> yeah, dude. Seriously, though. And. Right after that, a little kid fucking falls and scrapes his leg. Tema goes, oh, you look okay, little homie? He goes, wham. And Tema goes, all right, I'll fix your leg for you. Starts fixing the kid's leg. He says, oh, you're all good, kid. All right, I'll see you later. And right as he does that, the entire police force descends on Tema. Dude, literally everyone. And they say, are you Dr. Tema? He goes, no. <laughs> like, we need you to come with us. And that ends episode 50, which is a fantastic yep, cliffhanger. cliffhanger. Yep. So we got fifty one through seventy four to wrap up next week. Yep, a little it's, bit shorter. It's that time again. It's time to make some predictions. Mm. I got a big one. Ooh. Lunge is going to get Tenma out of Prague prison. I was gonna say I see him being the gray now. I feel like he's just gonna come to the consensus finally that it's not him and he's gonna be like, Oh, my other one is that Johan's going to kill Grimmer. <laughs> okay. And then my I'll last say. one is Next that team. Nina's going to die. Mm. I think it's okay. fate that all three, Tenma, yeah. Johan, and Nina all die together. I, okay. I would say prediction wise, I still, I still want to say that Tenma dies and Dieter takes his role. I still am vibing with that. That's a great prediction. I still, I still think Grimmer dies to Tenma. 
um, or somebody or Nina or somebody along those lines, maybe Dieter just pulls out a shotgun, you know. Um, I think Ava comes back and plays a key role. I don't know what, but I think she comes back. Okay. Um, other I'll than that, uh, those are those are my predictions. I, I, Lungay, I can see Lungay. I want to say he's the gray, but I don't know that he's going to help him escape. I could see it, though. Tristan, what you got for me for predictions, big man? Um... You guys have kind of said pretty much all the things I'm thinking of. Um, I, I'm I'm thinking Dieter will have more of a role to play. I hope he does. I hope the Rabbit Man comes back. He's no, he's my dark horse. <laughs> no, he's going to get it. I don't want to hear it. Man. And the thing I is, it's going to be him. completely by accident. He's going to be trying to save himself. And he's going to, like, shove Johan oh off the edge God. of a cliff or something. And they're going to be like, oh, my gosh, he's dead. And he's going to be like, oh did I God. do that? It's, it's how it's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to be a great time. I'm going to be hyped. He's going to be my dude. I'm going to be like, I told you so. And you guys are going to be like, uh, like, I was right, though. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather have Grimmer kill Johan. Same. Grimmer just clutches up, kills Johan. He just walks away with the fucking 25 piece and the MVP. <laughs> That'd be great. Dude, that'd be awesome, actually. I don't know. Let's Grimmer for MVP. Grimmer, Grimmer. Yeah, Grimmer for sure is going to win some awards this season, hopefully. Oh, yeah. But, guys, we got to give our ratings for this section. Wait, no, no we, we lied. We said we don't do ratings for this. I'm lying to you. Yeah. Yeah, but I will say this section was really fucking enjoyable compared to last section. Much better. I feel like we needed that first section though to set the tone for things, and that this was like the meat skis. You know what I mean? Like the last stuff was like the like the like the lettuce. You know, you gotta have it on the sandwich, even though it's not the most enjoyable part. Now we're getting into the good shit, the meat, the chez, all that shit. Dude, you know. (laughs) Oh no. Suk was trying to get into the meat, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, God damn it, Eli. You're offending <laughs> our fucking audience again. How <laughs> is that offensive? I, I wonder. <laughs> he was trying to get some dick, bro. Like, the, leave the man alone. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Oh, fuck, dude. So, yeah, thanks. We have, I'm actually having a great time watching the show now. Last time I kind of left, I was like, oh, man, we got to watch 25 more. Now I'm like, I yeah. can't wait to watch the next 24. Yes, I'm, very, I'm, very I'm very excited to see how this concludes. Let's see what happens to Yo Heezy, what happens to Nina, Tenma lives, and how my boy Dieter's going to come out of it a king. He already is one. Yeah. Facts. Oh. Dieter for king. <laughs> Dieter versus it's a soccer Grimmer. ball. <laughs> soccer ball for Dude, co-MVP. Imagine <laughs> Dieter kills Grimmer because oh. Dieter goes evil. Oh, with the soccer ball? He kicks him straight in the head. Dude, that's the foreshadowing. The death that's kick. Foresh- <laughs> <Decapitates. laughs> with the soccer ball. Dude, when he kicks the soccer ball, the soccer ball just spins with blades coming out. It's got C4 <laughs> in it. He just blows up. Dude, what? Dieter implants the C4 in the soccer ball. <laughs> that's it. Dieter, the Dieter agent. Secret agent Dieter. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, we're rambling. Come back next week for us to... Watch the last section, and then two weeks we have uh the little things review for you guys, right? Oh, I wonder what that movie's about. Me too. I've never seen the little things, even though it's oh. already off HBO now. Hmm. Weird. How do we review? It? How are we gonna review it then? I think we're gonna go to the library. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have fun. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at b i n g e b o i s. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at D-A-B-I-N-G-B-O-I-S. That's the Binge Boys for Instagram, and that's Binge Boys for Twitter. And we would like to say thank you for coming along, and like always, with you today, well, I was with you today. My name's Enrique. It was Enrique. I was, also, I was also with you. My name is Eli. I've been here as well. My name is Tristan. And guys, I want you to remember that that's not Nina. That's Johan. <laughs>